this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome to another episode of Anything But Horror. Now, as I explained last time, this is where I'm going to be exploring other genres of film, something I've wanted to do for a very long time. It's just going to be different genres and explaining my love for movies and what got me into these films. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at Platoon. Now, Platoon is a 1986 film which runs two hours and is written and directed by Oliver Stone. Now, Oliver Stone was basically it in the 80s and 90s. Everything this man touched turned to gold. It was amazing. I kind of... He was kind of like Steven Spielberg in a way. He just had the magic touch. And Platoon may have been his biggest picture. Now, this has a dream cast. It still amazes me when I watch it today how many famous people were in this film. You have Charlie Sheen, Keith David, Tom Berenger, William Defoe, Kevin Dillon, John C. McGintley, Corey Glover from the band Living Color, Johnny Depp, Tony Todd, and Forrest Whitaker. That is That to me is amazing. That they were able to get that much talent. Now the budget on this was $6 million. And it grossed $138.5 million worldwide. To me that <laughs> that's just amazing. Now Oliver Stone apparently wrote the first draft of this film in 1971. And sent it to Jim Morrison from The Doors. In hopes that he would play the lead character... Of Chris Taylor, which eventually got played by Charlie Sheen. Another thing that amazed me was Keanu Reeves and John Cusack both turned down the role of Chris Taylor. Um, that's just amazing. Now this was nominated and won some Oscars. It was nominated for Best Supporting Actor William Defoe. It was nominated Best Supporting Actor Tom Berenger. Best Writing, and Best Cinematography. To be honest, I think that William Defoe and Tom Berenger were both robbed. Now it won Best Picture, Best Director, Best Sound, and Best Film Editing. Now this movie has a really, really simple plot. It tells the story of Chris Taylor and his tour of duty in Vietnam. And... In Vietnam, he's basically a fresh face, and he is torn between two of his superiors. He's torn between Tom Berenger's character, who is basically rough and tough and what war is all about. And he's torn between the other character, which is William Defoe's character, who is compassionate Pretty much a nice person that's willing to help you out if you don't know what you're doing. And believes in peace, but he's also there. He knows he's there to do a job. And that's basically the story in a nutshell. Now, I saw this film when it, when it came out. In our town, we had a theater that was a, a cheap theater. But the good thing about it was it got first-run movies. So you didn't have to wait until the movies had already played out to go to this theater. It ended up being that type of theater, but it wasn't that way, you know, when I was in high school. So a group of my friends and I went to see this film. Unfortunately, it wasn't the best movie-going experience. I went to see it with some very good friends and... Some people from a rival school started throwing ice and popcorn, and we kind of got in an ice and popcorn fight and almost got thrown out of the theater. Now, me, I wanted to watch the movie because I was really interested in it, but, you know, I got tired of getting hit in the head with ice a few times, so I started to fight back. Uh, we didn't get kicked out. We ended up making it through the movie, but it was kind of distracting, so my appreciation for this film 
grew when I watched it on VHS. Uh, this to me is an amazing film. I grew up like most kids. We want to play army. We want to play cowboys and Indians and shoot guns and make pretend like we're in the war. Um, one of my favorite actors of all time is John Wayne. And one of my favorite movies is Sands of Iwo Jima, which may or may not end up, you know, getting talked about here. But I felt like the old movies glorified war, where this one kind of told you what it was like. Now, of course, this was the first of a... Well, it may not have been the first, but it was one of the slew of Vietnam, uh, Vietnam war films that came out around that time. Um, and I did see Hamburger Hill in the theaters with the same group of friends, which I pretty much found... I liked it, and I, you know, I watch it occasionally, but I probably watch it the least out of all of them. It was kind of morally depressing. Uh, also, a Full Metal Jacket, which I did not see in theaters, but I also love that film as well. But Platoon, to me, is um, the best of the bunch. I mean, you have Casualties of War, movies like that, but <sighs> Platoon... It's just an amazing film. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's a hard watch, but it's a really, really good film. Acted extremely well. Uh, special effects are great. It feels like you're there, in my opinion. It was a movie that was able to transport me To that period in time and a lot of the scenes in there are are frightening in my opinion so definitely check this one out thank you guys for watching and listening i do love to talk about other types of films which i don't get a chance to do a whole lot which is why i'm starting this segment so thank you guys for indulging me and if you like what you see in here hit that like button and subscribe and until next time, peace.